Let's define website. It refers to a collection of web pages usually grouped and connected together in a number of different ways. It may also be written as website or simply a site. Now, there are different parts of a website, and they are Number 1. The home page. It is the opening page which does the job of welcoming the website visitors. It makes them feel they are in the right place and immediately explains what the website does or is made for. The second one, sliders, refer to the changing content area that presents slides of visual information including large images, texts, announcements, updates, and promotions. Then we have the headers. The content area at the top of the website which bears the logo as well as the navigation menu. This part likewise includes the taglines, addresses, contact numbers, or buttons used to sign up and log in. We also have the navigation menu. It is the part of the header which bears the links that take or direct visitors to other parts of the website. This part is sometimes called tabs, links, or pages. Then we have the sidebar. It is the area of the website which displays information that is not part of the page's main content like a call to action or links to recent blog posts or social media accounts. Then we have CTA or also known as call to action. It is considered one of the most essential parts of a website as it encourages visitors to take action by guiding them on what they really want them to do. <laughs> Lastly, we have the footers. Footers refer to the content area at the bottom of every page that consists of website. This usually pairs the contact details, maps, and links to social media accounts, among others. Now, let us discuss the characteristics of a good website. A good website is easy to navigate, easy to read, Presents relevant and up-to-date content. Uses relevant design like themes, colors, and visuals. A good website includes a well-presented call to action or CTA. It manifests credibility. It is clear, simple, and can be viewed comfortably. And lastly, a good website is mobile-friendly. Now that you know the different parts of a website and its characteristics, let, let's try this activity. Are you ready? Get a piece of paper and let's answer. I know we can do this. True or false? Answer true if this statement is correct and false if otherwise. Number 1. Websites need to have reliable and up-to-date content. 
Hmm, what do you think is the answer? Correct, it is true. Next, the footer is always placed at the topmost part of a website. Is it true or false? The correct answer is false. Next, we have the use of proper colors and photos matters in a website. True or false? And the correct answer here is true. Very good. Congratulations! Thank you for watching and for listening.